In this video, we shall demonstrate the method of preparation of parental nutrition solution for infants. The indications include birth weight less than 1000 grams, TPN to be started on day 1. MEN may be started along with TPN if the baby is hemodynamically stable and there are no contraindications for feeding like absent or reversed end diastolic flow. Birth weight of 1000 to 1499 grams and anticipated to not be on significant feeds for 3 or more days. Birth weight more than 1500 grams and anticipated to not be on significant feeds for 5 or more days. Surgical conditions in neonates, for example, necrotizing enterocolitis, gastroschisis, omphalocele, tracheoesophageal fistula, intestinal atresia, malrotation, short bowel syndrome, meconium ileus, and others which prevent the initiation of enteral feeds. The equipment requires laminar flow, sterile set with two bowls, artery forceps, sterile sheet, gloves, parental nutrition solutions as prescribed, that is, 10% amino acid preparation, 20% intralipid or SMOF, 10% dextrose, 50% dextrose, multivitamin solution, 15% KCL, calcium gluconate, 3% sodium chloride, potassium phosphate, syringes that is 50 ml, 20 ml, 10 ml, a sterile gown, 3-way and an opaque pressure monitor line. Before preparing TPN, the laminar flow should be cleaned and prepared for use as demonstrated in the video on use of laminar flow. Step 1. Determine the total fluid requirement for the day. Step 2. Subtract amount of fluid to be used for medication, for example dilution and infusion of antibiotics and enteral feeds. Step 3. Plan amino acid, IV lipid and glucose to be given over 24 hours according to the requirements for the day as provided in the table. Wear head cap and mask. Wear a sterile gown. Don gloves. Spread the sterile sheet over the lamina flow. Open the sterile set and place on the sterile sheet. Pour betadine and spirit in the bowl. An additional nurse holds the bottle of medicine to be used for TPN preparation as prescribed. Clean the port of the bottle with triple swab technique using artery forceps. Take intravenous lipid suspension in one syringe and add multivitamins to it. In a second syringe, mix amino acids, dextrose, electrolytes and trace elements.
IV lipid and MVI suspension is infused separately from amino acid glucose mineral solution although they can be mixed at the site of infusion using a three-way adapter. Keep intralipid separately and in a syringe mix amino ven and the other constituents with appropriate label and date. If more than one baby is receiving parental nutrition in the unit, one should keep separate color-coded labels for individual babies. Take the prepared TPN in a sterile sheet near the bedside of the baby and connect through dedicated IV catheter. Parental nutrition mandates meticulous monitoring in all the infants who are receiving it. The enclosed table depicts the monitoring schedule for infants on TPN. Now to some do's and don'ts. Hang the treatment chart by the side while preparing TPN. UV light should be turned off while preparing parental nutrition. TPN can be gradually weaned off once the enteral feeds are tolerated. Sudden stoppage of GIR may be associated with rebound hypoglycemia. Meticulous monitoring is needed in a neonate receiving parental nutrition. Thank you.